The next chapter of Castles is getting closer, and it is a few months away, but it's very important to plan ahead and make sure you have everything ready for when it hits. We're talking about dungeoning, and it's going to be the new area where you're going to be going through with your heroes and fighting monsters and earning some tea source and a bunch of other things. I'm really excited for this, and Castles has done a very good job doing this, and I like everything they've done. It took me a little while to piece everything together, but in this video, I'm going to explain it to you and kind of give it to you in a little bit, hopefully easier way to digest so you understand and can be all prepared and ready to go. If you don't understand with castling, basically you get heroes and you battle monsters. Simple as that. As always, I am not a financial advisor. Please, please do your own research. And I do want to thank Castles NFT for sponsoring this video. We are going to go through and give out some NFTs and they're going to send them over then. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but if you are interested in winning, make sure you comment down below and then go into Discord under the room Castles giveaway. Go ahead and put your YouTube name and your Wax wallet. I'll go through and pick some winners depending on how many they send me and I will let you know and send them over. This is Luna, and I don't know why they named her after my dog, but thank you, she will appreciate that. Luna will be one of the three heroes. There will be a Spellbringer, which is Luna, and she can hold a whole bunch of different gear and cosmetics, and you can see here, here are some of the cosmetics that she can equip. We'll also have the Knight, and finally, the Thief. Excited to see how this works, and when you have the higher level heroes, you will be going against higher level monsters. Unfortunately, with higher level monsters, you do have to be class specific. So that kind of puts a nice cool twist on the game, so you need to go ahead and fight a monster that the thief can beat, not one that is immune to spells, because the spell slinger won't be able to do anything to that monster. There's no reason to even try. So it is going to be specific when you get into the higher rarity. However, there will be a lower rarity, the starter heroes, which are $10, and they give you 30 uses, and they are unlimited. You get one free daily battle, and that goes with all heroes. And w after that, you'd have to purchase monsters or create monsters to be able to battle them. The way we create monsters is with a tome. Kind of think of the tome just like a carpenter or a lumberjack. You have to refill them daily to be able to produce packs. And these are going to be monster packs. There'll be different rarities and you'll have different slots depending. Now Epic, Legendary, and Mythic, they all look great, but they're pretty much the same thing. You just get higher level cosmetics with legendary or mythical. Now cosmetics basically just means how it looks, so it's not gonna really give you an advantage, it's just gonna make you look cool. <laughs> so keep that in mind, and these will be very sought after, probably one of the more important things to dive into when the game comes out. I'm definitely gonna be targeting these and try to get a few. You can have unlimited amount, and I would like to try to get a mythic or two and see how it goes. At least one mythic would be good and maybe an epic or two. We'll see how it is when it comes out. Keep in mind, portion from the tomb sales will come through to the Royal Courthouse Wonder. So if you are an owner of this wonder, you will collect some when this happens. A lot of the future stuff is seal dependent. So it's very important to own a castle to create seals or have a piece of Royal Courthouse Wonder to receive money from seals. The seals are going to be really, really important. Not only that, but so will Rune Source. And how do we go through and get Rune Source? I've covered this already in my last video. I'll go ahead and put it up top in case you're curious. But quick, a quick breakdown is basically the Explorer's Guild that will earn you some R source and so will the land packs that are created with that. That is going to be very important. You're going to need all of these things to be very successful in this portion. So it might be a good idea to start kind of stocking up on things and getting everything prepared because now that the events are going on, you can still get carpenters. You could probably find some lumberjacks on the store and you can prepare and get this because the Royal Court Wonder 
and the Explorers League are going to be very highly sought after because they are just going to make life so much easier with the next phase. Back to the tombs, you can go ahead and get higher rarity packs. It will cost different amounts. Also, when you get a pack of a monster, you can do more than one thing. You can open the pack and then you can fight the monster yourself or you could sell the monster. You could also sell the pack. So there's different ways you can earn one of these and just kind of like you can with the Baron, you can craft a land and just sell it. Well, you can do the same thing with this. You can craft a monster pack and just sell it and not even fight the monster. It's up to you what strategy you want to go to. You don't have to fight with the heroes. You can just produce monsters for other heroes and put it out there and earn that way. I think that would be pretty profitable too because I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of people going the hero route. Not to mention heroes are unlimited. So they can just keep adding more and more heroes to one's own account and as you do that you're gonna need more and more monsters to fight and you know when you run out where to go the second hand market would be where you go you do get one free daily battle with both starter and rarer heroes so don't worry about that because you will get that one free battle each time so what do you get when you beat these monsters well you can get a few different things first you can get heroes is awesome you can build up your heroes that way equipment t source wealth nfts which are basically chests that have loot in them you use royal seals to open them up and get the t source and whatever else may be in it and it could be like a coin pouch emeralds you know a treasure chest anything like that so those will be very nice to get not to mention with these you can get very lucky and get some enchantment stones which are very rare and they're going to be used to upgrade your heroes. So they're going to be very sought after because people are going to want to upgrade their heroes because the higher the level, the nicer the loot. And you could kind of think of this like an MMO if anyone's played that. I've played tons of them growing up and you could kind of think of it. This is the same kind of loot system. You can get different treasure chests and get different equipment and cosmetics and kind of set everyone up that way. So when you're crafting with these, a common pack will cost T-Source and Seals, and a rarer pack will cost T-Source, R-Source, and Seals. One last thing about the tombs, I've also heard that this is going to also go into the Royal Courthouse Seal. So these sales of these will also go through and help benefit everyone else. These Royal Courthouse Seals are really looking nice, and I'm glad I'm going to be able to get some and i'm kind of wanting more already when it does come out i'm going to see if i can snatch up a few extra on secondhand market if they are a decent price so we talked a lot about tokens so let's talk about the three tokens that are going on here we are currently working with metasource or m source and you need that to earn and produce rune source because you're going to use m source to create the explorers guild and when you do that then you will be able to generate rune source or R source. R source is earned from making land packs, explorers guilds, and a secret. <laughs> you can spend it to earn rarer dungeon loot, equipments, and heroes. So upgrades there. T source you earn from dungeoning, and you can use it to recharge hero stamina and use it for monster pack crafting. You also can get T source when it says earning through dungeoning. We're looking at defeating monsters, burning your equipment, if you, you can destroy your equipment and turn it into a source, and also the wealth NFTs. If you get a treasure chest, you could use a seal and then turn that into T source. So there's a lot of nice ways to go through and work with these, and you could kind of see how each coin kind of piggybacks off the other in some way. So you're gonna need all three of these a decent amount to get moving, unless you have an explorer's Guild, then you wouldn't need the M source as much. But to get the Explorer's Guild, you would need the M source. As I mentioned before, dungeon tombs, you can craft monsters, earn enchantment stones. This is where I'm getting all the information from a Medium article they posted. I've read it about three or four times just to make sure I have everything in my mind to help you. And it's just kind of going over everything here. So again, the heroes, you have the starter heroes and they're gonna be $10 for 30 uses. And then Courthouse Bounty earns 50%. And then you have the Great Heroes, which go to Common and Mythic, and there is no limit on the treasure earnings. 
and you have the three classes, but you also have to fight the correct monsters, except for your free daily battle. And in every seven to ten days, any hero can go through and fight a boss as you go through and progress. We've already talked about the different cosmetic slots. There's also three different colors. Equipping more equipment does give you more stamina. Recharging stamina does cost T source, possibly R source if it's the great hero, because they do require the R source as well. Plus 24 hours, unless you want to spend a bunch on them. And I don't think it. It's really worth it spending it, so I would just be patient personally, at least from what I'm seeing so far. Unlimited on heroes. You can merge heroes, as I mentioned, three of them with some enchantment stones, and you are going to also have to pay T-Source and or Rune Source and Royal Seals. You can only merge up to Epic, the Legendary and Mythic you cannot merge. And the price will double as time goes on and so many get made. It just gets more expensive. Just kind of how land merging works too. We also have the wealth NFT. So there it is. And like I said, you can get different prizes with it and get all set up and then go ahead and open it with Royal Seal and possibly something else. And then you'll get T-Source and whatever else is possibly in it. I'll definitely link this article down below so you can get an idea of everything and how it's going. The dungeon update does look awesome and they do have some sneak peeks that they have provided. Give you an idea of what's going on. I've showed you some here and I'm just showing you a few more that I haven't showed that I have already saved. This is another one that looks really cool. I think this is going to be a major game and I have already thought that. Uh, it's one of the top games that I have said and it's going to continue to. And they have so much stuff laid out for the future that it just keeps going and there's so many new aspects. You know, you're going to be doing all these battles and everything. Meanwhile, you'll still be merging land and collecting M source and you can sell that and then you know, after this dungeon thing, maybe there'll be another loop where we get another like royal seal courthouse type of event, you know, and then later down the line, some of these events will repeat. So you can go ahead and increase your stake in each of them. There's just so much to go. So I'm going to keep you covered as always with all the castle updates here. I hope you enjoy it. I do want to thank castles for sponsoring this video. I definitely appreciate it. I'm always excited to work with them and see what they're doing behind the scenes. I did speak with them and this is going to be all on chain. So every time you go ahead and send a hero to fight a monster, it will use some CPU. But they have mentioned that they have it set up to use a very, very small amount and they have some really cutting edge code. So it should be nice and stable when playing the game. And I'm glad and I'm excited they're going through and testing all that out and I can't wait. I'm excited for the Royal Seals right now. The Royal Courthouse, I really want to get my hands on that. I think I figured that I would get three when I did my math. I'm going to have to go ahead and refigure it because I can't remember if it was two or three. I may be a little short, and if that's the case, I'm going to want to start buying some stuff while it's cheap before it blows up because the day it comes, a lumber and fine wood is going to go through the roof, I am sure. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks so much for the view.